If you ever get a chance to work in an AI production environment where models are being served at a huge scale in multimodality with mixed workload, there is one tool you will surely encounter and that is NVIDIA DCGM. Of course, that is valid only for NVIDIA GPUs, but in my opinion, I think 90% of the workloads out there running on NVIDIA. NVIDIA DCGM or Data Center GPU Manager is an important piece of the observability and health management layer for GPU workloads, especially in clusters running NVIDIA Triton, VLLM and other GPU heavy inference workloads. If you're running a production environment, I'm more than sure you will be running Triton, which I already have covered on the channel, which is simply an inference runtime inference server, server engine, which gets plugged into a lot of backends like PyTorch, VLLM, uh, TensorFlow, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, if you need a low level observability matrices like GPU utilization, memory usage, ECC errors, power draw, temperature, clocks, health and diagnostic, you would need NVIDIA DCGM. By default, you can say that this is NVIDIA-SMI on steroids. For example, this is my Ubuntu system. If I run here NVIDIA-SMI, it gives me a snapshot of my GPU at the moment as I run it on this system. But if you want more, like an API-based system, which you can plug into, let's say, systems like Kubernetes or monitoring tools like Prometheus and Grafana, then in a production environment, you must have NVIDIA DCGM. You really cannot live without it. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get it installed in your existing Kubernetes cluster, where you are already running Triton, VLLM, and you are serving models at scale. I'm going to show you one of my personal AWS EKS cluster, where I already have a model running, which is being uh, used by more than five to six hundred users at the moment it is quite at the moment but it can scale as much as you would like but the goal here is to show you how to get that nvidia dcgm installed this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot because membership is what drives this model and i really thank my existing members who are really really gem of people and without their support it won't be possible to carry on making these videos because all of these clusters gpus they cost a lot of resources also if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to master compute in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus and you can see that in my cluster the dcgm is already running but if you don't, simply run these commands, which is going to use NVIDIA's own default M charts to install this DCGM exporter on your local system in your cube system uh, namespace. And once you have that DCGM, all you need to do is to install this Prometheus and Grafana. And you can see that I'm still using the HEM repos here, and I am using this cube Prometheus stack where I am wiring both of these into DCGM at port 9400 and Triton is also there at port 8002. And that is all I am doing here. Let me run this. And everything is deployed now, including Prometheus and Grafana. And by the way, Prometheus is just a monitoring system that collects and stores metrics as a time series data whereas Grafana is a visualization tool that displays those metrics in dashboards for analysis and monitoring. After Grafana and Prometheus are done, next step is to just create these configs where we are primarily wiring all of those ports of Triton into our new observability system. And finally, you just simply add this and create this hem upgrade, which is going to take a bit of a time, so let's wait. And that is also deployed and that is going to take like five to ten minutes so just be patient and you can also check the status by running this command for prometheus and grafana and you can see that everything looks great 
And now when you will access your localhost at port 3000, you will see your Grafana dashboard where the username is uh, simply admin. And the password is when we deployed that uh, hem chart, it gives you an echo command. When you will run that echo command, it is going to give you the password. So I'm just going to give it my uh, password here and then click on login. And there you go, we are logged into Grafana. So our Grafana is set up, which is visualization on top of Propitius, which is connected to our DCGM, which primarily is pulling our information out of Kubernetes cluster, where our GPU powered nodes are running, running our models powered by Triton, and the backend is VLLM. And if you go to Grafana dashboard, it is going to show you all the dashboards. Uh, around your pod, your node cluster, whatever is running there. And you can, of course, drill it down. And if you want to load the DCGM dashboard in particular, just go to dash, uh, dashboards and then you can simply, I'll just show you again, just go to new on top right, click on um, import. And this is where you can maybe give, give one, two, two, three, nine ID load and then this is the DCGM dashboard. If you don't see it, you can simply import it in your dashboards. And once you import it, this is what it looks like, where you can see it has given you GPU power, temperature, power usage, and a lot of other information, which I mentioned earlier. And this can go into a lot of granular levels. You can hover around it. And there is a lot of stuff like GPU frame buffer and I have done separate videos on this dashboard too and also on NVIDIA SMIS what exactly all of these matrices mean. And this is yet another uh, dashboard around CPU memory other than GPU if you are interested in your overall load you can check it out here. And if you are interested in checking out your models performance you can see that I have just gone to this dashboard because I just have one model at the moment. For this demo so only one model is there and it is telling us that how many inference um, requests have been there uh, query per second token per second gpu utilization and you can add it as much as you like also if you want you can create your own dashboard so for example if you go to dashboard you go to new import and maybe you can say something like this where this is just a simple json for creating a new dashboard once you run this you say it okay i'll just say load so i already have it so it is not going to create it for this model but you can create as many as you like so look probably you can already appreciate how good this observability stack is especially if you are running multiple models with mixed workloads at production scale uh, i think this is a must that's it let me know what do you think if you are looking to deploy any model or any AI project in production, you are looking to build it, I also provide consultancy, so please feel free to reach out. If you like the content, please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.